Hey guys, Kristen here. Um, I have a lot for you today, so I'm going to try and talk really quick because I've already recorded this once and it wouldn't fit. So I wanted to um, go over a lot of stuff with you really quick on my stats. I woke up today um, to a point four gain. I am 140 today and it doesn't really shock me. I started Tom yesterday. I have been on protocol. I've not been cheating. I've been drinking all of my water. I've been doing everything that I know to do right. So all that I can think of is that it's Tom and um, I don't have that long left. I am not going to stress it. I'm not. I'm not going to let it affect me. So that's that. Put it out there. Um, I'm going to move you over just a second. Um, and I'm going to get this out of the way and not talk about it until I feel necessary. But I need to get it out there. No more cheating. No more cheating, guys. No more cheating. It's just hurting you. It hurt me. Trust me. I mean, I know you know. You know. I knew. I knew even though I was making excuses that I wasn't cheating with chocolate D, but I knew that it was making me stall or gain or whatever, and I kept freaking eating it. Stop cheating. We're here to support you, and we love you, and I would want you to say the same thing to me. So, no more cheating. Okay? Okay. On to happy things. I hope you guys are doing wonderful today. I am personally doing fabulous. I'm feeling a lot better, and I had some fun today. I visited the HCG Boutique, and for what you guys, um, for those of you who don't know what the boutique is, it's Goodwill, and I have never been to a Goodwill except to donate things um, ever until maybe three months ago. And that was just to try, and I've been looking for these like vintage style lamps. I love vintage stuff, um, hence this. Um, and I've never been there except for that, and I decided to check it out. So I wanted to tell you guys about a couple things that I scored. Um, I went in there two weeks ago, and I got like three things, and today I went in and just like... I feel like I walked out with all the good stuff in the entire store because I spent a little bit of time. And I was um, shocked at the fact that <sighs> there's a lot of crap. A lot of crap. But if you're willing to look, you can find some really good stuff. Seriously. I had no idea. I mean, really. So, maybe, I don't know, at the Goodwill in my area... Um, the people that donate to the Goodwill in my area are donating good things. So if you have a really good area or you live in a really good area, just find a Goodwill. Whatever. Go look. On to the good stuff. Okay. The scarf. I love scarves. I have like a million trillion of them, but I love this scarf. I really, really like gray and yellow. That's why I paired it together, but I just like it. It's so fun, and I love this style. Um, I actually got two scarves. This is the other one. It's kind of like fall leaves, but I think that I could have some fun with this on like a camel tote purse or something like that. Like um, tie it. I can't figure out this darn camera. Tie it and put it around like the handle. And um, it, which brings me to Lynn. Um, she kind of inspired this vlog for me uh, a little bit. Um, but the reason being is that she was talking about in one of her videos, she did a little video about her morning routine and I'm going to start talking really fast because I gotta, I gotta get this out there. Okay. So she started talking a little bit about her morning routine and she did her makeup and she threw on a plain black shirt and plain black pants and put on some cute little flats and ran out the door. So, um, she was talking about if you just spend, you know, you don't have to put on a ton of makeup. You don't have to spend a lot of time on your hair. I mean, she did her hair so 
stinking cute and she literally did it in like 1.5 minutes. Um, so cute. You should go watch her video and learn how to do it because it was really, really cute. <sighs> how many times am I going to say cute? Um, yeah. But she was saying, you know, you don't have to like do all this frilly stuff or go above and beyond. If you see somebody in a pair of jeans, a t-shirt and sneakers, they just look like a person with jeans and a pair of sneakers on. But if you see somebody with jeans, a t-shirt and some cute little flats, um, and some cute jewelry, you're like, okay, they, they maybe spent five minutes on themselves this morning when in fact the other person may have spent a whole lot of time and decided to throw on sneakers and it made them um, appear that they really didn't take pride in their appearance. So kind of inspired this vlog for me because it's been so long since I've actually had fun shopping or spending time. Um, not too much time. I literally do my makeup in like five minutes flat and um, wash my hair like I know some people think it's gross but like every three days and I use dry shampoo because I have a kid and we're busy you know whatever so yeah spend a little bit of time on yourself and you'll feel a lot better about yourself and people will view you differently regardless of what what how you feel or care about what other people think about you um, People will treat you differently if you take pride in your appearance. And that's something that I actually, um, I always knew, but that's something that Mary Kay thoroughly teaches, that um, you put on a business suit and somebody will treat you with 10 times more respect than if you had on jeans, t-shirt, and sneakers. It's sad, but it's very true. And the crazy thing is, is that some of the wealthiest people in the world dress like Shit. I'm sorry. Did I just say that? Yes, I did. Probably because they're wealthy now and they don't have to, but fake it till you make it, baby. <laughs> okay. Scarves. Belts. Belts number one. My new, my new favorite. Um, it's a little skinny belt. Navy blue, gold clasp. Very cute. Skinny belts are very in, guys. Very in. And apparently whoever donated this, they didn't know. And it's in perfect condition. The belt on my waist. I'll just step back and show you. Okay. My pants are like crazy right now. This little camel colored belt, gold clasp, see? I love that little detail. So cute. white belt. It's like kind of like bronzy. This belt is like mint condition. It looks like it just came from the store. You see? Um, it kind of reminds me of the 90s-ish. That's that. Um, this brings me to one more thought that I have to add in. Um, the suit, the size 4 suit, is not a size 4 suit. It's a size 6. Every day I say affirmations. My body feels beautiful in a size 4. My body fits perfectly in a size 4. <laughs> I say all these things because my final goal is a size 4. And, um, I, God, I wish it was a size 6. And I wish that I was sitting, fitting in a size 4. And I think that just because I had size 4 on the brain, I was saying size 4. I even typed size 4 and I went back in and changed it. Um, I wanted to put it out there because I am not a size 4. I'm a size 8 going into a 6. And I'm still very proud of that. I, I feel better about um, the way that my body is reshaping in a size 8 than I ever have in a size 8 before. So I'm very happy about that. Just wanted to put it out there because I've been talking about this darn suit. And I'm going to show you guys I have something very special planned for you um, with the suit. So, okay. So on to the next thing. Shirts. This little navy blue in white. It's in perfect condition. I'll show you back here. Um, it comes down along the edges. I love this shirt. It's so comfortable. Um, and you know, you could wear it by itself or cinch it in with a little belt. I'm an accessory person. Plain clothes, add accessories. Plain clothes. 90% of my closet um, before I started losing weight was gray, white, black, and tan. 
and I add in pops of color here and there because you can get away with that. Which brings me to the next thing. I don't fit in any more of my white shirts, so I needed white shirts. Guess what I found? White shirt, Banana Republic. Tags still on them. Can you see that? 44 dollars for this banana republic shirt it's really cute it has this little detail alongside it. i mean it's really plain but like lynn was saying white t-shirt jeans little flats earrings you look like a million dollars okay that's that i gotta hurry here gray shirt it looks huge but i'm gonna show you why See the detailing on it? Isn't it pretty? Okay, this shirt looks ginormous. Look at this. It looks huge. But it's one of those shirts that can hang off the shoulder, or it's just meant to be big, or it has these crazy little belt loops right here. If I ever find a belt that small, I will certainly cinch it in um, just to have fun with it. But you could put like a colored tank under it. Um, who was I just watching that had a big shirt on that had a colored tank? I don't know. Really cute. Um, five bucks. It's in perfect condition. Okay. It doesn't have the tags on it, but you'd be surprised. I saw so many things with tags on them. I was like, who gives away things with tags on them? Like to goodwill. Very kind to people. They knew that I needed this stuff. So silly. See this, see this material. Can you? Can you see the material in this skirt? I love this skirt. It fits, um, well now it probably fits me low-waisted, but I um, I would wear it high-waisted and wear a belt on it. Um, probably a, a brown or even that navy blue little belt with a, you know, plain white shirt underneath and some wedges, you know, something cute. Um, I just really liked that skirt. This um, next one is my favorite. Gray is one of my favorite colors, but green is my next favorite. I've always hated corduroy. Always hated corduroy until today. This is vintage. This is real vintage. I don't, I wish that tags like printed what year they were made. I don't know, but it is so cute. I gotta show you. And I gotta show you how I would wear it in particular. Okay, so this skirt is long. It has buttons here, but it has like buttons on the inside right here. You wear it high-waisted because it's like this band right here. So you imagine this band. I know you can't see it from back there. Um, it comes like two inches below the knees, so I would definitely wear it with wedges because I'm sure I gotta like pop those calves up. Like you said, Rebecca. Okay, this is how I would wear it. High waisted, probably. I may wear this tomorrow. White shirt underneath. I love this white belt. It would go great with it. Um, obviously not the gray cardigan. But I just wanted to give you guys an idea of like how stinking cute this darn skirt is. Still can't get the whole. It's really fitted right here. And then it flares out like that. It's so darn cute. Oh my gosh. Like, I'm in love with this skirt. I really, really am. I can't believe that I found it. Like I said, love vintage. Um, and you don't find really good, like, classy vintage very often in thrift stores. You have to really look. So this next one, it's gray. I love gray. It's a blazer. I'm going to step back and show you. Um, I have, it like kind of goes down in a point in the front. Can you, can you see that? Yeah. Um, you could button it. I would prefer unbuttoned. I rolled the sleeves up. Um, gray on gray. So it's not really showing any details on it, but it has little slits in the side. It's really cute. It's comfy. I would pair this in the daytime with some colored shorts, probably like, I don't know, yellow or pink shorts with some little thong flip-flops and 
it's a jacket, but it's cute. Um, or in the, at night, you know, jeans and some hot, hot heels. Do it. Okay, last two things. Shoes. I've never ventured into the shoe section. Um, uh, well, I've never ventured in there at all, but I finally went into the shoe section today. And I found these. They're dollhouse. They have this like gray and new detailing over here. And these remind me of what Lynn was saying. That's actually why I got these. Funny thing. I do have several pairs of flats, but none like this. They are the perfect um, point, I feel. They're not too pointy for them to be overly dressy. And they're not too rounded because rounded shoes make my feet look fat. Anybody have like a weird obsession with fat feet? Or not obsession, but hatred for their own fat feet? I hated my fat feet. Okay. Shoes. I love these shoes. They're so cute and they're really comfortable. And they're in great condition. And the last thing are these little heels, little peep toes. I love this part in them. I'll show them to you really quick and I'm going to let you go so I can get off of here and not have to do this again. Because if I do, it's not going to be that fun. I had fun with this. <laughs> I had fun today. Okay. That's the inside of them. And that's the top. Uh, can you see that? I don't even know. Yeah. Whatever. Like I said, I don't have a laptop, guys. I love all of your videos that you like go in the backyard. You do it in front of a mirror. You're in your dining room. You're in your bedroom. I don't have a laptop. I have a tablet that does not have video on it. So... This is me at my computer every day. You get to see me in my microwave. Peace out, guys. Love you. Much love. Love you. Love you, love you, love you. Bye.